Hello, welcome to N1. I'm here today with one of the best clutch players in Europe, Kevin Punter. Thank you. How Thank are you, Kevin? You. I'm good, I'm all right. Can't complain. You've played in some amazing cities, um, mm -hmm. Belgrade, Athens, Milan. Can you rank these cities for me with like the preference that where you would like to live the most? Outside of basketball. Outside of yeah, basketball. Yeah. Um, Milan. Yeah. Because it fits my, it just fits my lifestyle. I'm from New York. We all know fashion is everywhere, and, you know, in the big city. So dressing, you know, having all the fly shoes. So I would say Milan. Okay, so you're into fashion then? Yeah, I mean, not like the runaway fashion, stuff like that, but I'm into clothes and the shoes and the, you know, and having cool gear. So I would say Milan. You went from being one of the best scorers in your league to playing in the Euro Cup. Is there a big difference? It is a difference. I would say the main one is uh, physicality. Teams are more experienced, obviously. Uh, you're playing against teams in which they've been together for four to five seasons. So they're more seasoned. Majority of them have been in Final Fours and won Euro League Finals, you know, things like that. So, Is there one thing that you miss the most from your league? Yeah, the double weeks. I, okay. used, to, I used to like the double weeks, I really did. Uh, that calls for you to play three times a week. Less, less practice, training. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And you just get to hoop more, like, I love basketball, like who don't want to hoop, you know? So that's probably the most I miss, because Euro Cup doesn't do twice a week, so that's 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 about it. Obviously, your coach is uh, Jelko Bradovic, and um, who's regarded as one of the best coaches in Europe. Can you tell us one of the qualities that makes him so special? I would say uh, attention to small things and attention to detail. That's probably the biggest for me. Like he has a real good knack of uh, reading situations. I should, that's probably the simplest way I can say it. Like it's hard to explain it. Just like just speaking to you, I would have to like specifically show you if we was say watching video. But um, he, he's really good at attention to detail. Parts on this pretty young team. What would be the most challenging parts you think? Uh, uh, Dealing with young guys, I mean. Kind of the lack of experience would be the most challenging because, you know, they've never done it before. You know, which is, we all, at some point in time, never done something before. So I feel like the best teacher is just experiencing it. So a lot of, a lot of for us right now, a lot of our experience is coming with the whole world watching. Playing for a coach in which we play for, with so much expectation. Now you have a team like how we have, where a lot of players just their first time, you know, underneath that spotlight. So, you know, everyone is seeing our losses and our wins, and they we just always under the spotlight. So just trying to help guys, you know, be focused and just keep our mind together and just look at the bigger picture. So that's kind of the main thing for us. You're known as one of the most uh prolific scorers in Europe. I got a question for you. Who would you start, bench, and cut out of these your league scorers? Here we go. I know. This, I hate <laughs> these questions. Mike James, Shane Larkin, Vasilia Message. Straight scorers. I'm starting Mike. I feel like out of those two other players, he's the best scorer. Bench, well, come off the bench. I want to bench him. Shane. And then, yeah, that's it right there. Okay, and then we don't say the last. <laughs> <laughs> Two truths and a lie. Okay. <laughs> um, first one, one of your teammates has scored more than 20 points in the NBA. One of your teammates has been drafted in the first round of the NBA. Matthias uh, Lesort has drafted, was drafted in the NBA. That's true. That's Matthias true. Matthias <laughs> was drafted in the NBA. What was the second? The sec uh, in the first round. That's true too. <laughs> well, That's the <a> lie. <laughs> and the first, I should have thought about that one a little more. Who uh, scored? Has scored um, m m twenty, more than twenty points in the NBA. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I should have thought about that one more. <laughs> you have played for both uh, rivals, Partizan and Zvezda, but you are not the only one in the team. Which of these Partizan players hasn't played for Zvezda? in the past. Has it or has? Hasn't. Okay, has it. Matthias Lesort, Alan Smaligic, Nemanja Dungovic. Smaligic. That was easy. That was hey. easy. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about highlights, mm -hmm. you have uh, made so many big shots in your career. Do you have your favorite, like most memorable one? If I was to pick one, I would say the shot against, against Nimberg when I was at Ike. We lost the first game at home, so we got to win the next game by uh, 12. Mm -hmm. And I hit the I hit a three that uh, Mike Green had uh, had threw back to me. 
to go up one, I think. That was probably the biggest shot of my career. Just for the simple fact that it was my second year out, I feel like that kind of just turned everything for my career. You know, we I hit that shot, we go into the, I forgot, I think maybe it was the final four. And then everything just kind of just, just started to turn. You know, my name started to become, you know. The plot twist shot. Yeah, people started to kind of be familiar with my name, you know. Um, it was kind of the beginning of that. And then, and then, yeah, I'll probably say that shot though. And this show is called N1. And uh, I would like you to show me your best N1 celebration. <laughs> N1 celebration. Wow. I don't even celebrate. I really don't. Anyone that knows me, and I feel like you guys have seen a couple games, I really don't celebrate. That uh, game turning shot in the Ayak. Okay. Well, I didn't do anything. Nothing? You just saw? You're just I like hit the shot. Cold blood. I hit the shot. <laughs> And it went in, and I'm thinking, okay, we're up one. We have to get like I'm. I'm in like we have to. We're up one. Uh, two seconds at blah blah. Like we still gotta get a stop. It's not over. Like I'm in that mode, so I didn't even have time to celebrate. And another big shot I hit was when I was at Red Star. It was my second game, my second yearly game. We was at Asheville. I hit the game winner at Asheville. This is for all the marbles. Punter pull up for three. No foul. Gavin Punter. Oh my word. So, and that was so big for me because I had just left Olympiacos. Everyone, I was going through, I wasn't playing Olympiacos. And then to go to another team and hit that shot, it meant a lot to me, you know? So that was real personal for me. And even then when I hit that shot, if you go back and look at it, Lorenzo Brown runs, he's like jumps on my back, but I don't do anything. Okay. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> like I just, <laughs> so I don't really celebrate like that, I really don't. Uh, you know, I may be in a moment where, like, against Juventus, uh, where I hit the game winner in that. I guess they're going to let Punter go alone. The pull-up jumper for the win is good. Four seconds on the clock. What do they do? What a shot, Kevin Punter. But that was that was it, though. I just <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I'd be so in the moment. Is that was that's it. What's, what's your favorite phrase then? Because you know that. that's my house <laughs> not my house but you know i think we all know what i'll be saying you know <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's a yeah. good one let's leave it at that, <laughs> leave it at that. <laughs> thank you so much for this this was great for sure <laughs>